Thank you for taking the time to hear from me. My name is Bruce Castor. It is an honor to appear in this historic Hall of Democracy, yet today that honor is tempered by an overriding feeling of grave concern. right thing for the right reason every time. Sometimes that makes you unpopular and sometimes that is a is the popular thing. Did I think she, he probably did something inappropriate? Yes. Did I think that I could prove beyond a reasonable doubt based on available, credible and admissible evidence? No, I didn't. Bruce Castor, a former DA who refused to prosecute Bill Cosby. Castor said, we don't charge people for making a mistake or doing something foolish. Many more victims came forward and Castor admitted he could have used their testimony against Cosby, but Castor didn't even try. was enough evidence based on her statements alone to convict him beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, the purpose of this hearing, as we understand it, is to discuss whether President Donald J. Trump's conduct fits the definition of a high crime and misdemeanor. It does not. his firm's white-collar criminal defense practice and is considered one of the top criminal defense lawyers in the country among his past clients, members of the Bonanno, the Bonanno family. This case epitomizes so much of what was wrong with the Mueller so-called investigation from start to finish. Everyone, again, should want to speak out about what's happening in the Roger Stone case. This Senate has absolutely no jurisdiction to conduct these proceedings. They're unlawful proceedings. The entire proceeding is just totally unconstitutional and, uh, and uh, void uh, uh, from its inception. 